Oh, this is a wonderful day in the neighborhood. We're out here with Rich Udell and his beautiful new, well, I say new, I said that it's hard to say new. I, I think I should say modified uh, CA Corvette. And what I mean by modified is he had the wide body look to it as you can probably see down here. It has a very distinctive wide body look to it. And also it has lying in the back <laughs> this beautiful supercharger. So pretty exciting. So let's go over and talk to Rich. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good sir. morning. How good are you? Good morning. I'm just fine. I'm All right. So fine. tell me, uh, this car is beautiful. Um, this is a, a um, if I got this right, you got the wide body and you got the supercharger. That's correct. Um, if you remember, um, I have worked with Callaway in the past, yep. and I believe that you did a um, interview some time ago. And this is car originally had what they called the launch edition, which was their early modifications to the car yes. while they were working on yep. the engine management system with General Motors, and then while they were developing their supercharger, which was totally engineered for this C8, both the convertible and the Roadster, um, it, it uh, is applicable in either case. And so this is basically the final product um, at this stage of the game. Um, Callaway is always involved in research and development and they are looking at new things but as we sit today this car has just come back from tours and um, basically all over the country so that people could have a chance to look at it and at this stage from the launch stage that it was um, they have further redefined the handling of the car um, the wow. geometry. Initially they had some design uh, modifications. They have perfected those. Um, they have also redesigned the exhaust with um, to be more effective with the supercharger. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the wide body kit, this is probably mm -hmm. the only one that I am aware of that looks actually like it was put together at the factory. There is no gaps, you can't slide a credit card in any place. They have done just an extraordinary job, <clears throat> in my opinion, with the wide body kit. The car has um, 13 inch rear wheels, 345s, uh, 21s in the back, 20s in the front, with the gummy, um, uh, rubber substance. They have also done wind tunnel testing and you can see on the side they have um, added in conjunction with the wide body some flares which af affect the handling of the car and um, they have also if you look at the back this has got the big wing adjustable wing but Callaway has also developed um, another wing that they find in the wind tunnels actually works in conjunction with the big wing. It's, it's like a G3 wing and they have perfected that as well and um, uh, used it in this car. The, of course the, the rear end is fully redesigned with the, with the traditional um, Callaway Double D exhaust, that's yep. basically their signature. <clears throat> and then the supercharger, um, they have had in the past used a Roots type supercharger. They in-house engineered and developed for this C8 a twin screw supercharger and they have been able to, um, as you will see when we open the engine compartment, it's probably one of the neatest 
um, Let's take a look. applications <laughs> that um, one can imagine because there isn't plumbing, there isn't wires, there isn't tubes all over. It is just an amazingly compact system. Mm -hmm. And then on the driver's side, yep. you have um, twin fans, radiator, coolant, and they're able to take 192 degree temperature, I believe it is, and by the time it reaches the combust combustion chambers, it has been reduced down to ambient temperature, which is just tremendous in terms of performance. Wow. Wow. The horsepower, horsepower rating, yeah. which Calroy... Every, everybody wants to know the horsepower rating, yeah, is, that's for sure. And I, I, and I believe that it's very conservative, but it's 687 horsepower, mm -hmm. And then the flip side of that is it's 643 foot-pounds of torque. So this has an amazing power band um, as you accelerate throughout the power band, basically. It's, it's just, it's just uh, um, it sets you back in the seat. So the main two uh, features of this car with the upgrades, uh, the wide body kit and the supercharger. Supercharger you've and got the some exhaust. Other things they've, done. They've, yeah, they've redone yeah. exhaust, they've right. redone okay. suspension. Yep. Um, and suspension, uh, okay. Basically, is, is what their goal is for their customers is to have a car that you can go grocery shopping in in the morning and you can take it to the track in the afternoon. So this is a docile car to drive. I mean, it does. It, it is not overly loud. It's very impressive. It turns heads, but it, it does not drive you crazy inside the car. Um, of course, uh, all of us that are familiar with superchargers, uh, when 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 that supercharger starts winding up, there there is a little whine, but it's it's a very pleasant whine. <laughs> so you can actually hear a little bit of supercharger whine. And the other thing I was gonna ask you about was. When you drive it on the road, um, is it very do docile or and sitting there waiting to do to stomp on the fun pedal? Or it really is. How does that it, work? It really is. It's it's um, and it, it it's it is something that I think that they've achieved their goal. Um, uh, I don't think there's a wife in the world that drives that enjoys yeah. this that wouldn't enjoy driving the car. Yeah. Um, the only thing that I will say is is once you start depressing the accelerator, you better be paying attention. I mean, the <laughs> car is just phenomenally quick. Wow. Um, I believe that the quarter, the uh, zero to sixties is in the very low two seconds, and the quarter mile um, runs. 129 and 10 and a couple of clicks. So it's it it speaks for itself. All right. Now for a startup of this beauty. Can't wait to hear it. That sounds terrific. <laughs> it's not obnoxious, no. but it, it allows you to know what's there. Yeah. No, it sounds it's very, very good. I'm very, very good. Any, uh, you were pointing out a couple of small things to me. Oh, yeah, that you were showing me. Uh, this one's very interesting. There is a company out of South Florida, it's called Classic Trim. And Classic Trim makes, um, they actually manufacture, I believe, most of the GM authorized parts for the Corvettes. And when we were at Callaway, 
I mean, when we were at Carlisle, they were right across the road from us. And so they decided that this car probably ought to have some of their trim work up front. And um, it, uh, oh, in yeah, my opinion, cool. They do a very nice job. Um, with the with the carbon fiber and they do various um, just about any kind of uh, finish that you want in this car we tried to keep the colors to a minimum and keep a theme going in the car so that's why it's the carbon fiber I've got the mirrors and the front and the engine compartment in the back there's another company I believe it's called AC composites and they do a nice piece to bring air into the engine compartment to cool the engine compartment and this is a piece that uh, can either be carbon fiber it can be body colored um, in this case again to minimize the number of different colors we did it body colored but it 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 is a very effective and nice way to bring some additional air into the so it's into the engine compartment it's taking the air in here yes and it's throwing it out yep right on there. each side uh-huh okay and as you, again, as you look at it, the way Very that they have made the pieces, it yep. looks like it's factory. It's not yeah. something that looks like it's glued on, stuck on, or nope. whatever. Nope, that looks really good, really good. Rich, you, these wheels, I love these wheels. Tell me about these gorgeous, gorgeous wheels. Well, this is another somewhat interesting story that I was not aware of. These wheels are made in Europe and the reason that they are made in Europe, and Callaway has them uh, made in Europe by a partner, is that the Europeans have standards for wheels, which they do not have That's in right. the United States. That's right. Callaway is concerned that when they start building up horsepower like this, that they don't want to have any kind of wheel failures. So these wheels um, were developed uh, in Germany, as I as I remember, and um, these are an actual forged wheel, and they are only about um, I think nine or less pounds more than a carbon fiber wheel. So they are very wow. light in comparison Impressive. to the um, the stock wheels. I think they, if I remember correctly, they take 26 pounds of unsprung weight off the car. And you have some interesting tires on here, the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S, which is interesting. And uh, they're nice and sticky, I'm sure. Yes, you can <laughs> see by all the stuff on yeah. stuck to the tire. I know. Um, any other plans for this car? I mean, I think you've done everything to it that you could possibly want, everything I'd want to do possibly to the car. But is there anything else in the future for this car that you're contemplating? Yes, there is. There oh. is a, another company that has contacted me, and if we were to go to the back of the car, they make a chassis um, uh, suspension and chassis uh, strengthener that um, they are anxious to put on this car, and basically it is cross pieces that tie in and cross over each way to keep any shift in a, in a high acceleration situation and they are I've been corresponding with them they contacted me and I've been corresponding with them and they um, are trying to see if what they make will fit this and if it doesn't they're going to remachine and, and remanufacture a product and again those will be carbon fiber body color whatever you want them to be um, and nice. so they'll fit very nicely and look nicely in the engine compartment my final question uh, would be um, your own personal uh, experience with Callaway. I mean, a lot of people might be sitting out here and saying, oh, that Callaway looks pretty good, but um, what's the guy think of the quality of workmanship and things like that? So what, how would you, if you were to rate Callaway and your experience with Callaway and all the things that you've had done to the car, which I really, really like, um, how would you rate the quality of the workmanship uh, that's been presented to you here? Well, in my case, I'm a little bit anal because for yeah. about 15 years of our life, we built 
show cars to run on the International Show Car Association yep. circuit. Yep. And of course, uh, for many, many years, we judged the Shine Award at uh, the SEMA show for okay. Mother's Polish. And basically, that's one of the things that I look at. And I will say that my relationship with Callaway, I have never had a harsh word with them. They have been able to produce much in excess of what they they advertise to to do. Their people are all car people. They're not merchandising people. They're not sales people. And they have done, in my opinion, and especially when you look at the wide body kit and when you look at the exhaust, look at the way they, they redesign. And just as a quirk, if, if, if what they do is any example, the Z06 has a very similar rear exhaust uh, that yes. the Callaway does. And of yep. course, they work hand in hand. Yep. But, but um, I, I, have, I have come to the conclusion that they do, uh, perfection is their, that's what they strive for. They don't want anything. Yep. And they don't do, a, they do very little of anything that's not in-house. They have their specifications and standards and as far as brand loyalty, the only other company that I've run across that I think has more brand loyalty is Harley Davidson. Everybody believes in Harley Davidson and the same way you never find anybody that has had a Callaway or owns a Callaway that has anything like bad it, yeah. to say about That's them. Right. Yeah, I've, I've found the same thing over the years. The people I've met that own Callaways love the cars. So yes. They're very, very happy with their performance. All right. Thank you very Thank much you for, for giving me the opportunity yeah. to share this. And one last yeah. thing, um, yeah. the car will be out at various shows all over along the East Coast. Yep. And it's our pleasure, my pleasure to share it with people, have them look at it um, and appreciate it, hopefully as much as we do. Uh, but that's part of it. That's all part of the car thing is, is you have what you have and you share it uh, with other people, and that's where we're headed. We have it. a I have a uh, C8 meet and greet on the 16th. Correct. Saturday morning, 8 to 10 o'clock. That'll be the first one, and then from there on, why? Who knows where we'll be? 